looking at the outbuilding. Looks very beautiful. A nice tree taking pride of place there. We have our lanterns here. The garden may need a little bit of a tidy up now. We cannot tidy the garden so that is completely out of bounds. Let's go forward and have a little look. So we have little displays here going up the brick steps here. Okay, let's go inside the building and see what's what. And there's our gardener. You're here. Welcome to my little garden. I'm happy to have you here. I can't wait to show you around and teach you all about the plants. Follow me. Okay, lead the way, please. Lead the way. Okay, you go that way. I'm going to have a look. That's a little bit of cell biology here. So here is our cell. Everything is nicely labelled. Anatomy of the plant cell. Photosynthesis works. It's very exciting. Okay, right, thank you. So we have our genetic information here contained within the nucleus. Our cytoplasm media here containing all the organelles. We have the uh, mitochondria here, the energy producing organelles for the cell. We have your central vacuole here. We have the chloroplasts, which contain chlorophyll. Which plays a role in photosynthesis. We have our little protein builders here. These are our ribosomes. And have the cell wall and the cellular membrane there. So that is plant cell biology there in a nutshell for you. Okay little bit here about photosynthesis so there is our plant there is our light heat source there the sun so what happens we have sunlight and carbon dioxide plus water so carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water which didn't give the plant our cells from the sky we have a process of photosynthesis and produced we have glucose energy for the plant and oxygen being released into the atmosphere which we as humans can then consume okay so that is photosynthesis sunlight carbon dioxide water. Moving on here, we have our plant. That is the root system for absorbing the water and nutrients to keep the plant alive. There is our stem, our leaves capturing the light energy. Remember our cell over there. The little buds and the beautiful flower at the top there. Okay, so let's have a little look. Some lovely foliage here. We have some plants here. Very attractive. A little observation chair here into the beautiful gardens. And, uh, and
land there. So it's a very beautiful educational room. Okay, let's go and find the gardener and see what we have to do next. Let's have a little look. Welcome to the quiz room. Are you ready to take my small quiz about the things you've just learned? Okay, have our little planting stations here. Little planting stations. It's the gardener ready to quiz us. Okay, so let's begin and see what questions we have. Let's start. What is produced during photosynthesis? Water and glucose, oxygen and glucose, carbon dioxide and water. So, blue, we have oxygen and glucose. We'll go for this one. Could you go? You got it right. Excellent. Next question, what is the outside of a plant cell called? We have the outer cell wall, chloroplasts we shall eliminate, cell membrane. Okay, let's go for cell wall. Yes, we are correct, very good. What is not part of the plant cell? The vacuole we had in the centre, the nucleus containing the genetic information. What is not part of the plant cell? Let's go for glucose. Congratulations. Next question. Which part of the plant underground so we will eliminate stem could be root the bud that seems fairly straightforward let's go for root very good what is the middle of a plant cell the middle of the plant cell ribosomes and are Cytoplasm is where the organelles are contained. So let's go for vacuole. Vacuole. Excellent. Do we have another question? Which one of these absorbs the most water? Leaf, stem, or roots? Hmm. Tricky question. Let's try the root. Brilliant. And the next question. Next question. The chloroplasts and the mitochondria are in the nucleus. Incorrect. A vacuole has no organelles. So let's go for cytoplasm. Excellent. What does a plant use for photosynthesis? So glucose is created. We can't have that one. Water, yes. Carbon dioxide and sunlight. That sounds feasible. Oxygen, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Two different gases there. So let's go for water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Excellent. <coughs> Congratulations, you passed the quiz. Seven out of eight, although I thought it was eight out of eight, right? I'll meet you in the room across the other side. Let's follow the path here. Do this one. 
this room here. It's opened up another room with some beautiful plants. Varying colours, which are very easy on the eye. Light source here for optimum growth. Our little water station here, and our little miniature greenhouse there. Okay, plant the orchid in the dirt. Let's open the box. What do we have? Seeds. Do we have a watering can here? Okay, let's place some seeds in the soil. Next, you'll have to water your plant. Drop appears next to the plant, use the watering can to water it. I just need to wait a little bit. Rest there. Ah, yes, we have a water drop. Now let's feed our plant. You can't forget to give your plant some sunlight. Excellent idea for photosynthesis. Growing very nicely there. Do we have another water drop? Okay. Is setting is ideal for your new plant. Always try to make sure your plant has enough water and sunlight. Okay, water and sunlight. Looks like you're ready for the big world now. Meet me outside where I'll explain to you last things you need to know. Okay, let's finally have a look at the gardens. It's a little bit of a maze. Growing here. A little outbuilding there. Let's have a look how this garden has been decorated. Possible tulips and roses there. A lovely array of flowers there. little area for relaxation purposes relaxation purposes apple tree apples are a very popular fruit with different purposes mostly for cooking and baking there are 7500 different sorts of apples mind-blowing okay that's a beautiful building beautiful building At the next one, and up the ladders. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Hey, lovely, thank you. Just before we go, we'll have another little look around here. Lots of space for growing and relaxing. We'll just have a little look at the water feature over here. relaxation 
on meditation. There's a beautiful waterfall here. And one of my favourite coloured plants there. And finally we have this lovely building here. It's a lovely building. Gardener, storage, this place you can get all the seeds you need to make your own little garden. What do we have? Sunflowers, lavender, dandelion, orchids, tulips, rose, aloe vera, square cactus, prickly pear cactus, venus flytrap, pitcher plant, apple tree, Lower seeds, apple tree, pine tree, blossom tree. And berry blush, watering can here for topping up. Excellent, so I hope you've enjoyed looking around the garden, learning a little bit about plant and plant cell biology. I'm going to say goodbye now, I'll let you have one last look at the gardens here. One last look at the gardens there.